3DS emulation is not dead. Even though Citra is gone, Lime 3DS lives on as a spiritual successor, and in this video, I'm going to teach you the foolproof way to get up and running with 3DS emulation on PC. First up, open your web browser and search up Lime 3DS. Click through on the GitHub link and then click on Releases to get to the download page. Just like Citra, Lime 3DS has builds for PC, Mac OS, and Android. Click on the MSVC Windows zip to download the latest release. Open the zip file once the download is complete and extract the contents. I'm using the Windows 11 built-in extractor for this one, so you don't need to download anything extra to unzip it. Open the extracted folder and double-click the Lime 3DS GUI EXE file to get started. If you're on a brand new PC or you've never ran any emulators or PC games before, you may get these DLL errors. If this happens to you, it's an easy fix. Go back to your web browser and search for C++ Redistributable. Click on the Microsoft link for latest supported Visual C++ Redistributable. Then scroll down and download the X64 build. Once it's downloaded, launch it, click Run, click I agree, and click Install. Once you see Setup Successful, you can click Close and go back to the Lime 3DS GUI and try to launch it again. On your first launch, you'll need to point Lime 3DS to your Games folder. Double click on the plus sign folder icon and navigate to where your 3DS games are stored. Click select folder and Lime will populate the menu with all of your games. There's also a compatibility rating next to the games. This is sometimes accurate and sometimes outdated. You can ignore it and give any game a try. Let's adjust some settings and then we'll get gaming. Click on the emulation menu and then select configure. There's a lot of settings here, but we'll focus on the best ones to adjust for this video. Navigate to the graphics tab. First thing here to adjust is internal resolution. You can use this to upscale the graphics all the way to 4K. To keep it simple, I recommend setting this to auto, which will scale to your window resolution. Let's uncheck linear filtering. This is only good if you don't adjust the internal resolution, otherwise it can look muddy. There are no post-processing shaders included, so we'll skip over to texture filter. If you play Pokemon games and want to run them at high resolution, I recommend the anime texture filter to automatically clean up the textures. Alternatively, you can skip this and download a high-res texture pack for certain games. I've got a video on that in my tutorials playlist. Next, click on the Layout tab. Here you can adjust the layout to your liking. I'm going to select the separate windows, which is my preference. This lets you arrange the windows however you want, including putting them on a separate monitor or even sending the bottom screen to your phone. Again, I have a video on how to do that in the tutorials playlist. Last, click the Advanced tab and set your graphics API to Vulkan, if your PC can support it. This is for those of you with a dedicated GPU, Otherwise, OpenGL is the backup here. Make sure Render shows your dedicated GPU. Let's also check Enable Async Shader Compilation to get rid of shader compilation stutters on your first playthrough. Finally, let's get our controller working in the Controls menu section. I'm using an Xbox Series controller plugged in over USB, but any controller will work. Click the New button to make a profile for your controller and name it anything you like. I'm calling mine Xbox Series X. Then click the Auto Map button and you'll get a pop-up telling you to press any button after dismissing the pop-up. You might not see any change, but your controller will be mapped. Click OK to close the emulation settings and let's get gaming. Double click the game you want to launch to start playing. You'll need to adjust the top and bottom screen to your preferences. I'm keeping a simple top and bottom arrangement. Your controller should work right away and you're ready for some awesome 3DS gaming on PC. If you have any questions or you want to see another tutorial, just drop a comment and follow along for more high quality content. Cheers.